Hey guys, welcome back to MJ Misadventures. So I've got some interesting news following up on the Segway Supervillain SX20T. Um, I had some people commenting down below and happy to see that. And I reached out to Segway and just asked a few questions and said, hey, when are they possibly gonna be actually hitting the market? Um, exactly what I, you know, exactly as I kind of expected. They're telling me second quarter of 2024. So we should see them fairly soon. Um, they're releasing both together. They're not gonna release the hybrid first or the just regular turbo first and then vice versa. Um, the other update that I got is the hybrid they're estimating around 28 to 30 ish is kind of where they're saying they're gonna be. They could be a little higher, could be a little lower, it depends on final marketing cost and shipping, all that fun stuff. Um, Another thing was the K-Man suspension that's on there. A lot of people are like, why didn't they use Fox or why didn't they use um, uh, King or Radflow or any of these other companies? Um, so I looked up K-Man and actually dug through them a little bit um, and found some interesting things actually about K-Man, um, such as K-Man is actually a very big racing brand, off, uh, off-road racing brand over in China. Um, I was kind of skeptical and thinking, eh, you know, Chinese, you know, it might be cheap crap, it might be good. Um, after speaking with Shock Therapy, or shock, um, not Shock Therapy, but Segway, they actually sent one of their shocks directly to Shock Therapy um, and had them pull it apart and look at it and kind of give it a thumbs up, thumbs down, or what should be improved or, or what, basically. And Shock Therapy actually gave them the thumbs up and said they're actually really good. Um, the best way that I've come up to kind of explain it is they're kind of the king racing shock of China. I guess that's good. <laughs> I guess time will tell. But the other thing that they did tell me, they are running some of the K-Man suspensions already on some of the villain SX10 WXs, I think it is. Don't, I might have the numbers wrong, but don't shoot me. I promise you'll probably respond in the comments below. Um, I asked if the motors and transmissions were built in-house or if they're outsourcing all that stuff, kind of bringing in a different brand's motor and stuff. They're actually building everything in-house. Um, I asked them uh, also, where are they being produced? I saw a couple of people asking about that. So the company's headquarters is in McKinney, Texas, but they are being produced over in China, at least as of this moment from what they're telling me. Um, a few people had also met uh, wondered how has warranties been, how are they, how they've been holding up, so on and so forth. Um, the gentleman that I spoke to, again, he was from marketing, so I have to bear that in mind, but I'm going to go with he's being honest. Um, they've had, overall, since they've been producing the Segway Villain and the, I believe it's the Snarler as well, I think it's the other name, um, for their ATV line, they have sent out one motor under warranty. Um, Can-Am and Polaris might want to take note of that because we know that they have their problems, you know, um, and not knocking them, just they, they have had their problems. Another thing to mention about the warranty and also the dealer network, because that's another question people had was, you know, is there a large dealer network that's backing these products? Um, currently, the at least as of what he told me, there was 181 dealers today in the nation. They're signing up 20 dealers every month on an average basis. And that is before they released the supervillain. He said, since they've released the supervillain, they're typically getting about 100 dealer applications a day, which I think is pretty respectable. So I think the concerns for the dealer warranty issues and stuff like that can be kind of put aside at least as of this moment. Um, the other thing that Segway wanted me to mention is, or not so much mention, they wanted me to mention, it was something I thought that I should mention, is they're giving a two-year warranty, and there's no other manufacturer coming close to that right now from the factory. I hate saying it, they're putting all the big companies like Can-Am and Polaris on, you know, on point at this point. They're kind of saying, get your stuff together. And I know a lot of people have been worried about the idea of a new brand coming to the market and bringing something like this out 
and it not being up to par. But I mean, if you think about Polaris 10 years ago, they weren't a big company as they are today. And they're a massive company today. I think giving the time, Segway is going to do really good. And honestly, the people that are complaining and saying, well, the number seems too cheap. They, he did confirm today that it's going to be around 20, he said between 23 and 26 is the rough idea as per the pricing for the U.S., but it depends on the shipping to the U.S. currently. Um, that's for the base model, you know, super villain. And that's putting out more power than, than the Can Am, and or even the uh, the Pro R, and I think that that's something to really take note of when you can consider that price tag. You can buy two of these super villains for the price of one Maverick R. And to be honest, from what I've seen so far from Can Am, and and I hope Can Am gets better. They haven't been super impressive. They have impressive numbers, but they don't have super impressive finish and quality and that's something I, I did get some more pictures from them and also stuff that they've shared as well um, from the show over in Italy right now um, of the newer interior and the customizable features and I was incorrect on the last video um, it's going to be a uh, normal drive mode a crawling mode and a sport mode um, and he told me that the crawling mode is really designed to help limit the need for the lockers and everything else and kind of help manage that throttle input and everything else um, and smooth it out. So I got to say, guys, you know, looking at it more and more, I think this is going to be something good for the market. And if anything, it's going to start pushing the prices on all these units back down where they need to be. Uh, there's no reason that we should be spending fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 on a side-by-side -side that you can't drive to work. <laughs> you know, for that money, you can go buy a new Jeep and, and you can't go as fast, but you can go anywhere that you want to. Um, so that's where we're at today. Uh, I appreciate everyone watching. I appreciate all the new subscribers and I appreciate all the comments. So if you got any more questions, you want me to reach out to either Shock Therapy and kind of get their viewpoint on them um, or Segway or any other company, uh, you know, put that down in the comments below and let me know. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. See you later.